all rock bands were like these guys, it would definitely be a more interesting scene. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we're speaking with the All-American Rejects. So we always like to start with the origin stories of the bands that we interview, so tell us how the All-American Rejects first got together. Nick and I went to school in uh, in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Back and in the 1990s. Yeah, 1900s. Yeah. That sounds better when you say that. <laughs> and, um, you know, in Stillwater, there's three things you can do. You can either play football, uh, be a complete, uh, de completely dedicated to, I guess, studies, and then, you know, be in a band. And I I'm not really that athletic. Well, I think that was the fourth option. You could just get f***ed up all the time. That's, yeah. That's the third option. Yeah, there's also we that option. We weren't good at any of those three. Well, yeah, I mean, we were good at the, the other option, but nobody would invite us to do so. Right. So we stayed in our room, <laughs> wrote songs, and sent out our CDs like old school Beatles style, like Stamps, sent them out to all these record companies, hoping somebody would pull it out of the trash. And um, Doghouse Records came and signed us. When uh, I was 16, Nick was, was 18, and we have been doing this for about 11 years after the fact now. It's kind of a crazy little ride. Very cool. Now it's no longer the 1900s. It's not. Wow, we made it. <laughs> and what kind of music did you guys grow up listening to? I mean, who are your idols and icons? What we're best at is writing songs. And I don't think... You know, at least what I personally grew up listening to was necessarily the songs that I appreciate most now, just as being, you know, a songwriter with this guy. Um, what got me playing guitar, you know, I grew up in the 80s and the 90s, so a lot of hair bands and a lot of flannel shirts. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I wouldn't say that that's necessarily influenced our, you know, our music or our songwriting. My biggest influence when I was a kid was my dad. You know, he'd pick me up from school, have a six pack of beer, and uh, I would have to drive home. <laughs> and so we, <laughs> and so we would take dirt roads so I could jump on the clutch with both my feet. And he would be playing me like Black Crows and AC/DC and NXS. And my grandma would, you know, shower me with musicals. I think our biggest influences have been not only been each other, but my pops, our parents. Like Nick's parents got him into. Your dad made you listen to Alabama. Well, no, my mom was the country music person, and I right. went and saw Alabama twice, Vince Gill and George Strait each a couple times. Um, but then my dad did pull me aside and, you know, when my mom wasn't home and showed me everything from the Beatles to Boston. So. Yeah, I think it's, I think, you know, if you're, if, you're, if you're not told to be hungry for music, it's good to have your parents there to feed you. What do you think it is about you guys that has made you one of those rock bands that is able to be played consistently on pop radio? Two things constitute whether or not we like the music we make. It's can we wake up the next day and not get it out of our head? And is it true? I think being from Oklahoma and not ever really buying into the hype, not coming out with the fragrance or not, you know, making a series of Damn, that chains. Was on my list. Yeah. Not having like five taco stands. <laughs> we've always only done music and we pride ourselves in it and we go away into our little jungles of song every time and we don't come out for for people to sort of praise us and so I feel like we haven't really ever rested to to focus on what we have accomplished and when you do that I think you still maintain a focus on the reason you started it which is because we love what we do I don't know how we've managed to cheat the system and get played all over uh, mainstream radio, but we're grateful for it. Regardless, I would still like to know what All-American Rejects perfume would smell like. <laughs> it smell like, it smell like this theater. And it smell old, sweaty, and a bit like hair products. Mm, nice. <laughs> I like it.